Okay, this episode starts off with, uh, you know, Nami, Brooke, Momonosuke, and Chopper just, you know, congratulating each other on, uh, how they did in the last fight on the last episode, basically. And then, uh, Nami and Chopper try to, uh, figure out why Doflamingo, no, not Doflamingo, uh, Law wants to hand over Caesar over to Doflamingo. What's her face, whatever her name, mentioned that, uh, Law didn't actually resign from the Seven Warlords, so, uh, is that bad or good? We go to, we go back to the Coliseum to find out that there's this guy named Suleiman, I don't know how to really pronounce this, Suleiman or Suleiman, I know how to, uh, I saw how to spell it, but I don't know how to pronounce it, Suleiman, whatever his name is, it's Suleiman the something, and he's like annihilating people with great crazy ease. Then there's this Orlumbus guy who has a whip. Then we have Rolling Logan, whoever he is. These are all kind of new people. We have Agio, uh, the fighting lion, whatever he is. I guess they let anything and anyone get in this fight. So, in Damask, he uh, shoots fire out of his mask. The sorcerer mummy, uh, there's a lot of new people coming out of nowhere. We go to Agilia, uh, I think that was her name, and she's a gladiator, so you basically know what she can do. Now we have Cavendish and this guy named Gardoa. They're just um, what girls wish for. Now we go back to the character I personally would like to see, and that's Rebecca, and she's fighting. Thanks to Luffy cheering on in the background. What's wrong with these guys? They, they, they just group up on Rebecca? How dare they? How dare they? Now we're learning that Doflamingo actually used to be a celestial dragon. Explains a lot, actually. Hilariously, Law actually switched Caesar's heart with one of the Navy soldiers, which is kind of funny. Great! Law takes Caesar and we're on another high-speed chase in the forest. Nami and everyone else had uh, taken the Sunny around to Greenbit to look for Law, but obviously Law is not going to be there. Sorry, guys. They got too close to Greenbit, and now they're surrounded by a school of fighting fish, which is very, very bad. I can't be the only one who laughed at the part when Doflamingo heard Nami, Momonusuke, Chopper, and Brooke scream, and he made this weird face. Like he looked at it for one second, and he made this weird face and just went back to his normal face. That's just hilarious. That was hilarious. And now Law is going after everyone on the Sunny. This isn't going to turn out well, is it? And then finally, we have Sanji coming in with a final blow to Doflamingo's leg, and it was epic. And yes, again, I'm in a completely different place again. As you can see, I am in a completely different place from where I usually am, and I am using my phone again instead of a camera because I didn't bring it. Ugh. So I'm going to have to use my phone for now. But anyways, I'll see you on the next video.